The future of the workplace also includes robots as some tasks become more automated. That has many employees concerned that they will one day be replaced by machines. I've seen them, robot news anchors. But a few startups have <laughs> you're sitting next to one. <laughs> oh, no, you're a robot. A, a few startups really have something else in mind. They want workers and robots just to get along. They're known as cobots, at least for now. Julia Borston has our story. The market for collaborative robotics is expected to reach $12 billion by 2025, according to Barclays. We'll see cobots across industries, not just manufacturing. People will increasingly be working with robots in hospitals where they're doing tasks such as dispensing medicine. Rethink Robotics uses human workers to show a robot what it needs to do for everything from building cars to teaching in classrooms. And a range of robots are tackling automated checkouts and customer service. Hardware store Lowe's Lowbot speaks multiple languages and knows where everything is stocked on shelves. What people can expect is that they will increasingly be working side by side with robots who may be giving them directions in some cases, who may be in many other cases taking uh, the most sort of repetitive and, and repeatable activities that they do off their plates. So far, Lowe's hasn't used these robots to eliminate jobs, but rather the Lowbot eliminates simple tasks, while employees focus on the more complex ones, like designing kitchens. And a range of tech companies are looking to cash in on this trend. Startups include Universal Robotics and Rethink Robotics, as well as Boston Dynamics, which Google owns. And Piaggio, which created the Vespa, has this robot to carry people's stuff. But it's not all about working hand in hand with machines. These advancements in robotics will eliminate jobs. About 7% net job loss a year over a decade, according to Forrester's Gounder. And that includes the gains in robotics jobs. But some jobs will still require human minds. Creative jobs actually over the next 10 years will be resilient because uh, human imagination is very hard to automate. We'll see if that changes and whether more jobs are threatened as robot technology improves. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.